if you were a real estate broker yeah. now with zero dollars in your pocket, what would be the first thing that you would do? Here's what I would do. One, you have to get your license and you need a couple hundred dollars to do that. Mm -hmm. So if you have zero dollars, then you probably need to get a second job the way I had when I first when I first got here. So I would I would hand model. Oh. Yeah. If you Google Ryan Saran hand modeling, it is a it is a deep trip. Um so I would hand model. So How was that side hustle? It's good. Paid 150 bucks an hour. Okay. You don't have to pay taxes for a year, you know? And so it's all 1099 money. And so I would hold iPhones and, you know, Nespresso capsules and everything. And I have, you know, big hands, I guess. And I have long fingers from piano. And so I can, you know, I can really hold things and all that. And so I became quite the parts model for a little bit. Um, I tried doing other modeling and I was just terrible, but it was the, the, the hand modeling would pay bills. And so, you know, I could hold a phone for 10 hours and it, be hung upside down taking photos of my hands and they pay me 1500 bucks and so my rent was a thousand dollars a month when i first moved to the city or 1100 sorry 1100 and then as long as i could make 900 dollars in addition to that two thousand dollars a month i could survive and i could stay in new york city and i wouldn't have to move home and so once you've got your license and you figure out how to eat food and you have a roof over your head then the first thing you do is you go and interview to be on someone's team Mm -hmm. not starting the real estate business completely by yourself. Um, uh, you have no idea what you're doing, mm -hmm. right? And there's, you can also get in a lot of trouble if you tried it. You can, by all means, you can, if you hang your license with a brokerage and they let you just do your own thing, but you should go and start on a team and be on that team for a minimum of two to three years, right? Like a graduate degree and just learn, just learn, help them with open houses, with appointments, with meetings, be in their emails, like understand how they're talking, do the trainings, really understand just because you can get a license in a week in the United States doesn't mean you should actually start working the next day, right? right. Um, you know, it takes years to actually build up a Rolodex and to understand how to close, you know, how to show, how to build the systems, the process, the foundations. That's why we ended up eventually starting our, our sell like our hand programs and the courses. And how do you bet who to work for? You want to work for teams that are successful, that can actually have a need for you. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to go to a team that actually does no business because then you're just not going to have any guidance. You really want to work with somebody that's going to allow you to shadow them, to understand, you know, and if they're a top, top team, they're not going to have any time to let you shadow them, but you're going to force them to make time. So you're going to be willing to do anything at any time, anywhere on any device. Mm -hmm. Like just be the person who's there doing all the signage in the mornings. Right. Like you got to be willing to work for free mm -hmm. in this business. So figure out a way to either save up money before you get into it or have a side hustle that is making you money on the side and then be willing to put in the hours and work for free and make yourself invaluable. And then if eventually you want to be the one who's doing the deals and be the role before you are the role. Like show them that you are the person that can do this and they will just give you the work. Mm. Like it's what I do now, you know, agents that come here that work their ass off and really assume the role of a top producer before they ever even are. Those are the agents. I'm like, yeah, give that lead to her. Mm. Right. Or no, I see if he'll actually go do that because right. he's like busting his ass versus the other people who just complain. It's truly faking it until you make it in a certain sense. Yeah, I guess when I hear fake it till you make it, I think about, like I think about lying, right? It's like showing up in a rented car, but saying I own it. Like that's that. Then you're then you're just lying. I like to think of it more as um, uh, and I wrote about it in my 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 second book, Big Money Energy, about like really em embracing and understanding future you. So like, who do you want to be in a year from now? And write that down. Like literally write it down. You're this is how much I weigh. This is what I'm wearing. This is where I live. This is how much money I have in my bank account. This is what I just sold. And start being that person today. Like mm -hmm. walk around with the confidence of future you today and assume that role. And you will you will be that person before that year is up. Like every time. It's amazing. Yeah. I love that. Um, manifestation. Yeah, always. Always. <laughs>